Today, I'm combining my love for self-care and homemade skincare. As the cold winter days approach, I like to incorporate products into my routine that help my skin preserve moisture and prevent dryness. So in this video, I'll be sharing the sugar scrub and body butter I'm currently using to keep my skin soft and moisturized. Because of the content I create, I'm constantly approached by brands who want to send me all of their latest products, whether that's for the face, hair, or body. And although I do have my favorite brands and products, I firmly believe in the power of using simple, natural ingredients. I love the simplicity of combining two or three ingredients from my kitchen to make nourishing recipes for my skin or hair. Sugar is a super affordable natural exfoliant that can help keep our skin soft and healthy by gently buffing away dead skin cells. Usually, I just combine sugar with an oil to make a very simple body scrub, but this time, I decided to add one more ingredient. I'm a huge fan of matcha not only for the taste, but also because of the many health benefits it provides. So I thought, why not add some of these benefits to my scrub? Matcha is packed with powerful antioxidants that help slow down the signs of aging and stimulate circulation. So in a bowl, I combine one cup of sugar with one teaspoon of matcha powder and make sure everything is mixed thoroughly. To this, I add a fourth cup of almond oil, but you can definitely add more or less oil depending on what consistency you prefer. Almond oil has emollient properties that help seal the outer layer of the skin and helps retain the moisture. And this is exactly what I want during the cold, dry winter months. I love to make homemade body butters, especially around the fall and winter time. Aside from deeply moisturizing my skin, they are luxuriously creamy and they make for a great self-care moment. The butter I'll be using is shea butter, which is highly, highly moisturizing. It's also known to help heal things like scars and stretch marks. I was running low on shea butter when I filmed this, so I had to cut the measurements in half. Usually I like to measure out about four ounces, but this day I did two ounces. I melt it using a makeshift double boiler and I let it cool down a little bit before I add the carrier oil. I'm using jojoba oil, which is one of my favorite oils to use. It closely resembles our skin's natural sebum and it can help balance oil production. So it's especially great if you have oily or acne prone skin. I place this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour so it can solidify. Once it turns slightly firm, I take it out, and if you'd like a scented body butter, now is the time to add your essential oils. I've really been into floral scents lately, so I'm going to add jasmine essential oil to mine, which smells absolutely amazing. It's a really soft, sweet, fresh scent that really boosts my mood. Now comes the fun part, whipping the mixture until it's smooth. Ideally, you want to use some kind of mixer, but you can also use a fork if you don't have one. Use whatever you have available and just whip it until you have a creamy consistency. Most homemade body butters are good for up to six months when stored in an airtight container, but I go through mine pretty quickly, usually between one to two months, especially during the winter time. A warm shower is said to prepare the skin for exfoliation because it helps to soften it. So twice a week, during my shower routine, I will gently exfoliate my entire body, starting at the neck and moving all the way down to my feet. And I pay extra attention to the rough areas like the elbows, the knees, and heels. The best time to apply body butter is right after a shower when the skin is still damp. This allows the ingredients to absorb deeper and really lock in the moisture. 
Taking care of your body and treating it with care is an act of self-love. So I hope this video inspires you to do that. And if you enjoyed this video, I have another one where I share four DIY exfoliating scrubs for glowing skin. Each scrub only contains two ingredients that you'll most likely find in your kitchen. So I'll have that video linked on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.